Okay, so here I am at the top of the Tirada saddle um, with the new Himalayan 450 from Royal Enfield. So this is not a machine I've just lent from the dealer, okay? I'm not one of those guys doing a review and taking it back to the dealer. So you're going to see the Himalayan over a number of rides and over a number of weeks and probably even a year or two. Okay, um, I'm not taking you back to the dealer anytime soon. Ha uh ha. -huh. And um, we're going to uh, test it out and get used to the bike. So a lot has been said about um, it's top heavy. Well, I haven't found that. Um, I think some of these guys that um, um, think it's top heavy might be used to a moped or something, but not for me. Um, this, uh, the screen as well, the screen um, that's supposed to be, um, you know, doesn't knock the wind off. Well, at the moment, it's, it's doing okay. Um, we'll see how it goes uh, when I take it for first service up to Hamilton uh, next week, um, which is about 350 each way on open road so we'll see how that goes uh, but today we're just going to do some yeah some narrow winding roads and quite a few uh, quite a bit of metal um, through the Okoki Valley um, up through the Kiwi Road and we'll see how it goes T tunnel we come in and there's a hell of a bit of a drop-off um, and then you can see the entrance so it pays to uh, not have your sunglasses on when you're going through the Uruti tunnel and uh, it's quite a long tunnel really um, but I have seen logging trucks go through it uh, but it's a pretty tight fit
So this is the Moki Tunnel. The Moki Tunnel is just a short, quite high but quite narrow and there's lots of markings of trucks as you go through. Okay, so we're now going through the Kiwi Tunnel. It's quite a cool tunnel um, and uh, pretty narrow. Okay, so the rubbers are out. Um, the middle bolt was uh, pretty hard <laughs> to get undone, but I guess that's a good thing. And the oiling field actually used some Loctite, so so that's pretty cool. So um, regarding the seat, the seat's pretty cool. Um, check it out. It's kind of got this little knobbly bits on it, and I haven't heard any reviews talk about the seat yet, but it feels good, comfy, and um, I wasn't a bit of a fan of the two-tone, but it's growing on me. Um, I've tried the uh, seat. Better get out of the light here. I've tried the seat. Take two or three. I've tried the seat um, on the high and low setting, and um, yeah, I've gone. I've gone from high to low, and then back to high. Um, I'm five foot nine and a half, I think. Um, and actually, I prefer the the higher setting so the lower setting was wasn't too good and it was just it was okay but um not for me and uh yeah so i've gone back to the higher setting i can just about get my feet flat on the ground with the with the higher seat um so now we're we're going to try it without the rubbers which i think will be a hell of a lot better um and we're going to try it on the famous kiwi road um there's a bit of a drop off, I'll try and uh, film some of it. They've, um, they've really uh, done a hell of a lot to this lately. Uh, normally this is a pretty much a proper track, but they've um, council's obviously spent a bit of money on it. I realise uh, that this is one of the uh, great tourist assets of Taranaki. Road. So if you get a chance to go or you can uh, you can actually come on one of my tunnel tours if you want to. I take groups down here. 
and you know if you come on a motorbike you can come in a uh, in my van yeah so I've just got to watch this harper I can't believe how much metal I've put on it easily get your car or you can easily come on my tunnel tour and I'll tell you all about it Whoa. yeah so I can't believe it it's almost a state highway look at less potholes than there are on the state highway but um, yeah it's cool so, bike family is fine. Just gotta watch out on this road that uh, someone could be coming the other way. And there isn't uh, much room. So we'll just keep on the outside here, I think. I've obviously sprayed all the, uh, the burn, which is a real pity. I really love it when it's uh, when a little fern is overhanging this road. Well, I guess I've got to keep it uh, clear for people that don't enjoy it. But anyway, the Kiwi Road and uh, Himalayan is handling it fine. Of a challenge at all, really. It's just, it's just a uh, gravel road, really spectacular gravel road. Got to watch these corners. There could be there could be someone in their four-wheel drive or another motorbike. Um, could be another motorbike. Whoa! These tires are okay, but. Really, not the best for uh, Taranaki Metal Road. Uh, I need a bit more grip. I can't get some grip to it. I can't get to it. Sure, I can These North Taranaki roads can be quite slippery. Kiwi Road. Himalayan of course handles it. I've been down here on my interceptor. And uh, but that was definitely faster and uh, felt better. So yeah the Kiwi Road, someone's won the sign again. Well they haven't put it up. But yeah, so onwards to where am I going? I'm going to Wanna Momina for lunch. Yeah.
Bonga Burger. So I've done about 170 k's. Um, try to keep it at 4,000 revs or under approximately, but occasionally going up but over. It definitely has a power band when you uh, get to 5,000 k's. It's, it's good. Oh, 5,000, sorry, revs. Definitely gets a power band at 5,000 revs, but, um, you know, I'm running it in, so I better take it easy. Um, seat's good. It's not heavy to lift. It's not top heavy at all, but it's just bullshit. Um, I took the rubbers off, uh, the four foot pegs. Um, they were on pretty tight, but um, yeah, it's good. It's good. As I say, I'm five foot nine and a half. Um, I did put the seat low when I started, um, and I've changed it back to the higher seat. It um, feels really good, um, higher up. Um, Toodles along just fine, you know. And uh, I don't really, you guys um, in New Zealand shouldn't be looking at the reviews on the guys on the country lanes in bloody UK or just tootling down the road. Um, you know, they don't know what they're talking about, really. Um, but hey, you know, it might work for them there, but, um, you know, it's quite different here. The tyres are kind of okay, they're okay, um, but really, really, if you get in any mud whatsoever, they're pretty useless and a bit slippery. Um, so I'll be kind of, I'll try and wear them out, just about, but if I can't, um, I'll get some knobblies. I've actually got a knobbly from my old uh, 14. Yeah, the bike overall is good. I, I, it was, it's really light. I wish the, the first Himalayan had been like this. It would have been far better. But hey, it's an evolving thing, so we now have this one. It's probably, it's not a, a real dirt mongrel, but it's, it's going to be good. It's the best of both worlds. It'll handle the road really well. Um, and it can do all the back roads that I want to do, so, you know. Um, I'll be doing quite a few videos using this, and uh, we'll see how it evolves, and we'll see as I run it in how I can really wind it up. But, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm even really happy with the Himalayan Salt Kaya. You know, it's great. It's uh, not what I picked originally but um yeah the gray and the himalayan salt nice work really well yeah so i'm just gonna keep eating this and you guys need to go out and buy a new himalayan because yeah i really enjoy it thanks man